Hello everyone, I am the Enderbrony, and I will be reading Letters from a Secret Admirer by Subsolar Drift. Chapter 5. Things Go Downhill. Twilight sat in a chair, thinking over what she said to Pinky. I was so quick to accept her and say I try a relationship with her. Was that because she's my friend, or because I thought she wrote the letters? Twilight sighed and took a sip of her coffee. It could have been a mixture of both. I guess I just have to decide when I know who sent them. There really is no other way to tell. Twilight frowned, unhappy with such a vague plan, but accepted it as the only option. A knock at the door broke her from her thoughts. Who is it? She called, not wanting to give up. The cheery sound of Derpy's voice answered. It's the mail mare. I have a letter for you, Twilight. Twilight shot to her hooves, making her way to the door quickly. A smiling Pegasus greeted her there. A letter? Twilight asked. Who from? She hoped she knew the answer. You got a friend asked me to deliver it to you, but I can't say who's from. They want it to be a surprise. Derby rummaged through her bag and pulled out a letter, handing it over to Twilight. Saying a quick goodbye, Derpy left and Twilight shut the door behind her as she returned to the kitchen. I wonder why they didn't just send this one in the morning like the others. A quick flash of her horn, and the letter was out of the envelope, and Twilight delved in. Her eyes widened as she read. There is no way I'm reading this right, she told herself. They use the elements of harmony, but so few ponies know anything about the elements besides the fact that they saved the world. The pony who sent these knows about the elements, and the way they talk about me... It's like we're friends. The only ponies who fit both of those would be the princesses and... She gulped. My friends. Okay, come on. The Elements of Harmony saved the world. I think they're, they should be pretty commonly known about. Anyway. It couldn't be the princess. That'd just be too... Twilight shivered, unable to finish the thought. Which means it has to be one of my friends. Twilight felt like she had been hit by a brick, the revelation like a physical blow to her stomach. One of my friends felt this way about me and I didn't see it? What kind of friend does that make me? How could I not tell one of my closest friends has a massive crush on me? Am I just that oblivious? You are kind of oblivious, Twilight. Twilight could only sit in stunned silence for what seemed like the tenth time that week. When her brain could once again work, she asked the only logical question. Which of them is it? Twilight shook her head, trying to think clearly. I know it isn't Pinkie Pie, so that leaves Applejack, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy. One of them wrote the letters. One of them has a crush on me. Twilight thanked Celestia she hadn't managed to get to Carousel Boutique that morning. How awkward would it be if she'd gone to Rarity asking for help finding out who sent her the letters, only to find out that it was Rarity who'd sent them. Twilight let out a sigh of relief that that hadn't come to pass. Wait a minute. Twilight thought, levitating the letter up to get a closer look. I don't think it could be Rarity anyway. This doesn't look like her horn writing at all. Horn writing was always neater than mouth or hoof writing, one of the benefits of magic. Twilight was very glad she didn't have to take all her notes or write everything she did by mouth. Her tongue would get blisters. She shook off that unpleasant thought and returned to the task at hoof. Rarity would never use mouth writing for something like this. For something as important as a love letter, she'd want it to be as neat as possible, and that comes with magic. Twilight mentally crossed Rarity off her list. That leaves Applejack, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy. Twilight began to pace. Movement had always helped her think, and think she did. Derpy said a friend asked her to deliver that letter to me. All the girls are good friends with her, so that doesn't really help. Twilight's brain chugged and churned through all the information it had on the letters, at last giving her something to go off. But if it came in the mail every morning at the same time be I got my mail before, then whoever the sender is has to be before me in the mail route. She didn't get the letter off in time this morning, so they had to find Derpy to send me the letter. Twilight smiled triumphantly. Applejack is after me in the mail route, and she's probably working right now. There's no way she could have gotten it to me in the mornings at that time, or talked to Derpy today to give me the letter. I, it can't be Applejack. My 
Secret admirers either Fluttershy or Rainbow Dash. Twilight thought about her two friends. They were opposites in almost every way, and one of them was her admirer. Twilight could picture Fluttershy writing the letters. It almost made sense. She was so shy that of course she couldn't tell Twilight in person. She would be too cautious to put her name on the letters. Fluttershy fit perfectly. On the other hoof, there was Rainbow Dash. Twilight just couldn't see a Pegasus writing a secret love letter, let alone a love letter. Dash was more of a pony who could just fly in and sweep you off your hooves. She'd say she liked you and then ask you on a date, and that would be that. Fluttershy fit so perfectly that Twilight was almost ready to teleport over to her friend's house and ask her on a date. There was only one problem. Twilight knew what Fluttershy's mouth writing looked like. Rainbow Dash flew around her house in a panic, a recently finished letter in her hoof. Where is it? She yelled as she tore open the drawers in her kitchen, rummaging around and then slamming them shut when she didn't find it what she wanted. She moved through her home like one of the tornadoes she re rarely created, leaving debris and wreckage wherever she went. Where did I put those envelopes? Needless to say, Rainbow Dash was not in a good mood. She'd gotten little to no sleep the night before, and as a result hadn't been able to get the letter for Twilight off in time. Plus, she was late to work. Normally, that wouldn't have been such a big problem, but her mind just wasn't in the right place. Every time she wasn't actively thinking about something, her mind would just wander off to her feelings last night. She kept denying it, but the realization was slowly creeping up on her. Dash zipped out of her bedroom, her frustration reaching critical levels. She'd had enough. She icily stomped over to her desk and put the letter down. She needed to blow off some steam, and if she had the letter with her, there would be nothing left of it afterwards. She turned to leave, just as a glimpse of white under the dictionary caught her eye. She stopped, staring at the offending corner. All was still for a moment as she stared, until finally she sighed, letting her body relax. Of course it's here. It was here the whole time. She grumbled, swiping the envelope and carefully putting the letter inside. She began to walk towards the door, but paused. She looked down at the letter again. What am I doing? she asked herself. She slowly walked towards her living room, set the letter down on the table, and threw herself down on the couch. She watched the letter as, it, as if it held the answers to the universe. I can't avoid this forever, can I? She asked no one in particular. She groaned and rubbed her forehead with a hoof. Of all times I had to fall for some pony. She stared up at her ceiling in defeat. <sighs> she snorted. A week ago, and I would have been complaining about who I fell for. A week ago, and I would have been complaining about who I fell for. She sat there in silence, letting that fact seek in. There really is no hope for me anymore, is there? Her words had a sense of finality in them. I have fallen for Twy. She had accepted the fact, and she felt an unexpected warmth spread through her. I've fallen for Twy, she said again, letting the sound of the words assure her it wasn't a dream. Rainbow Dash reached over to the letter, pulling it out of its envelope, and tore it to shreds. She sat down at her desk and quickly wrote up another letter, the shortest of them all. Dear Twilight Sparkle, Tomorrow, 4 p.m. The park north of town. An admirer. She smiled at the simple letter and placed it in the envelope. She made her way to the door. All I have to do is deliver this letter and the prank will be over. She sighed, adding in her head. And maybe Twilight and I can have something between us. Smiling widely, she opened the door. There was Twilight Sparkle, a letter in her hoof. Her face was sheer horror, pain, and betrayal. She'd heard what Dash had said. The smile fell from Dash's face instantly. Tears began to fall from Dash's eyes, and in an instant, she was gone with a flash, leaving only a letter behind. Author's Note This chapter was edited by the awesome Prof. Yana. Without him, this chapter wouldn't be here. Oh, God, no. Ah. <sighs> Well, this chapter title isn't... isn't misleading. Uh. 
Anyway, this is Letters from a Secret Admirer by Subsolar Drift. I hope you enjoyed.